Heidi Ho, Red Bar Club. I got a package and I'm really excited. Mato Models kindly sent over this surprise package. They have diorama stuff. They challenged me to do some wargaming terrain with it. This is some cool stuff. Really nice. I like it. We have beer glasses. Some crates. So this is the cardboard boxes with the logos and the designs of the shipping brands. Shop signs. This is stickers also, like decals. Really cool stuff. I think I'm getting an idea and some graffiti. Graffiti. Yeah, I love graffiti. Your next acid. Acid. Urban. Urban. Acid. Urban. Urban. Some skulls, of course. I have to think what I want to do with it. Definitely post-apocalyptic. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. I'm really excited. Really nice. Challenge accepted. Thanks. I'm looking forward to this. Let's go. As a base, I'm using this styrofoam packaging stuff uh, from a computer display. It already looked like an industrial building. I'm adding some plastic tubes and spray cans. Give it a sand so the color sticks better. Of course we need the neon yellow for my theme for the mutant gaming table. I'm gluing down everything with acrylic caulking because the glue was empty. It's perfect to blend stuff in. Some more neon yellow for my theme. And a base coat of PVA, plaster, light gray, acrylic color and some sand and dirt. Some rubble and sand. Cleaning off where I don't want it and let it dry overnight. So now I have to switch from aggressive and big to tiny and small and fragile. This is a real challenge for me. This is so tiny. Oh, it feels like driving too fast with no brakes. So I'm using super glue, tiny drops to glue everything together. I had the idea to make a packaging tape from packaging tape, which worked really nice. And then the stupid idea to make a packing list. Uh, this took forever. It didn't want to go into the plastic, which was the packaging from the Mato Models packaging. And after like 15 minutes, it worked. In order to prime and paint the plastic crates, which are really nice, I glued them to a toothpick with super glue. Activate! Activate! I tried my usual way of weathering with a homemade wash, but uh, the paper does not take that amount of water. So I tried it on the assembled one. That was better. In the meantime, in the kitchen, we are cooking up some washes. Black wash, and a brown wash, and then we're washing it. Wet and wet and let it drip. It needs to be grimy. Graffiti. Let's put this wheat paste on there. Making it wet, slipping it over. Mini for scale. Adding details. Measuring and planning. Constructing steel double T beams. I have the idea to build an abandoned deli or kiosk inside the previously abandoned industrial site. Post, post apocalyptic. Slip and slide. This will dull your blade. Let's add some more detailed stuff from the trash can. Assemble the spray painted steel beams. Look at the nice sunlight in the background. I wanted to weather the decals. It's all, it's like a plastic film or something. I don't know what it is. And uh, I cannot use uh, water color on it, like a wash. So I used my solvent based rattle can clear coat. 
It was hungry. It looks really nice on this post-apocalyptic stuff though, if you put some more weathering and overgrowth and stuff on it. Don't use it if you want to see the graffiti. Let's construct a frame for the deli sign. It's skewers with uh, some ketchup and mustard color on it. And then the decal on cardboard with a little bit of weathering glued to the top. This is a sprue with a dirty paint. Some more dirty washes from the rusty stuff that's running down the walls. Let's dry brush everything to get some highlights. And then dry brush uh, the bottom parts where there would be moss. I made some pipes from wire. Let's paint them yellow. Poison, Poison pipes. pipes. Time to glue all those cardboard boxes in there and the beer glass. I'm not so good with tiny stuff, but I will learn it someday. I want an industrial ladder and a new approach. So I listened to a discussion of Narb and Bill making stuff about staples. So I thought, hey, how about a staple gun? But I need a spacer and a ruler for it. So I filed down this chopstick to the height I wanted and added this ruler line to it. Now I can assemble the ladder really fast. Let's add some PVA to hold the staples in place and also some of my rust color. Finally, let's put some flock on there. This is homemade flock from animal bedding. Some paste I mixed with PVA and a big foam flock. Some static grass. Collecting the static grass with a vacuum cleaner in a nylon sock to reuse it. Some fine foam flock. Watery, running down, PVA, and then some flock for moss effects. I spilled so many flock on the table, I decided to make some small bushes with it. Finally, some pigment powder, only some dark brown on the bottom with a makeup brush. Ah, here they come. Boys, you want to be? Oh no, the zombies. Okay, let's party all together. <laughs>